Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 9. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today we are back in the Nissan Skyline. Oh, there's traffic. Watch out. Uh, so we are carrying on with some more races. And we're going to try and... Um, I, we're not actually too far off uh, 250,000 master points either. Oh, not ideal. Cops are after us. That's great. Right, let's slow down. Here we go. Clover, this is called. So I'm having a slight guess that this probably on um, overpasses and looks like a four-leaf clover. That's a lot of checkpoints. Um, okay. Wish me luck. Here we go. Skyline, it's your time to shine. Off we go. Right, we're on the first checkpoint. Skyline does a really good job at taking these corners. It's a very smooth car to drive, this one. It really is. Okay, dropping down here. Come on. Oh. We are wall riding our entire way across there. I think this is like the final leaf. I'm guessing. Nice. And then the finish line is just up here. Awesome. That was a nice, easy first race to start with. 105.045. Cool. And 20,000 credits for that, for driving a minute. That's pretty impressive. Um, we now have cops after us still. Uh, 1.6 miles to the next race. Let's go. I think we're just grinding races out for today. And then um, we may start seeing uh, C-Class races soon. If it is uh, 250,000 to upgrade. Oh, come on. That was not fair. Oh, and this other guy's on the bottom with us. So, yeah. Brilliant. Uh, we have unlocked another time trial, the tendril. But uh, I don't think our skyline can do that one, so. I didn't even touch a car. What are you doing? I didn't touch any cars. That is not fair. Right, I can see the race up ahead. Let's go. Ah. Uh, Come on. At least the police don't want to chase us for hitting that car. Oh, that was great. Perfect. Scenic view, this mission's called. Or race. I think it's a circuit race. Uh, it is a point-to-point -point race. 6.4 miles, one lap. Um, okay, cool. Let's do this. Oh, are they all skylines? They are. That is awesome. And off we go. Can I get through? Yes, I can. The fact is, this game on the PS2 is a slightly higher quality than the PSP version as well. Because the PSP only had like a 240p screen. Um, whereas the uh, PlayStation runs at either 486. This is weird. It's either 480 60i 
four, five, seven, six, fifty. I. It's weird. Getting loads of airtime, and oh, I think we've broken the game. Uh, the slipstream is just stuck there. Hang on, but as we're earning points, that's just like adding on. What? I'm confused. No, there's just a slipstream icon that's just stuck there. Okay. Thanks, game. This is quite a nice route, though. Really nice roads. Twisty and turny. This is one of the better racing games that ever came out. Like, there are some racing games that we know that are amazing, some that are meh. These are guaranteed, no matter who plays this, you're guaranteed to love it. If you're a racing fan. Because it's just that style of game, they get everything just right. And that's fun. Big time fun. I know a little bit uh, crazy there. Got another mile to the next checkpoint. And the render distance for this game as well is pretty far for a PS2 game. Which is decent. The scenery is quite far. And then uh, all the like main like buildings and stuff like that pop in when they're needed. Oh, that is awesome. Come on, come on. We got this. Oh, hit the wall there. The fact as well that the PS2 is next to silent as well is another really impressive thing. Oh, there we go. Coming up to some hairpin sections now. I love these roads. The twisty, windy roads are my favourite. Because they are perfect for uh, people who love to drift, like me. If I can get this car to drift, it will drift around here. Just sometimes the game doesn't want to count them as points. Awesome. Uh, and so far, no copyright claims as well. So the music is here to stay. Which is awesome. Really cool. I'm happy for that. The music is some of the best bits of a video game. Always. Oh, not great. Awesome. Nice. And across the line. Let's go. I don't think we're quite there yet. 245881811. So, still need quite a bit more. But we got ourselves 9,000 credits for that race. I think by the time we do the next race, we will be close to um, getting that reward. Or getting to 250,000. I'm pretty sure that's when we next level up. Oh, there we go. No, you don't need assistance.
Oh, little bit of a uh, lag there. There are one or two problems with the PS2, don't get me wrong, but the system itself and the games that were made for it, they were just built to work. Nowadays, games are just like, nah. They're not built to last like they used to. They really are not built to last. Come on, come on, come on. Right. We lost the suspect. Here we go, through the city. Oh, come on. You've got to be joking. Right, where is this race? It's just up the road here. Oh, cop car's going to pull me over because I'm going the wrong way and speed in. No, maybe not. Apparently not. Okay. Guess it's my lucky day. Hawaii, Hawaii 5 Woe. Okay. That's a pretty cool mission name, not gonna lie. Uh, so this is two miles for a one lap event. Uh, 1 minute 22 to beat. Let's do it. Shouldn't be too hard. We're at 246667 master points at the moment. Let's get ourselves some more. Awesome. Slow down. Perfect. Technically, you don't even need the speedo that's in the corner, the speedometer. You could just literally rely on just your experience alone. I think most racing drivers don't even use the speedos. They'll rely on the sound that their car makes most of the time. I still haven't worked out how to turn this into a manual mode, so uh... We're stuck with auto. Which I think is fine at the moment. I'm not really complaining too much because uh, this game is very arcade based and I'm quite enjoying not having to shift actually. Come on. There we go. 118. Professional challenge is now unlocked. Oh, awesome. So we are now at the professional level. Uh, you've won an AC427. We'll deliver it once you've made some room. Okay, awesome. So I need to make some room, buy a house or something, and then I can get that. That's awesome. Your itinerary is being recalculated. So we have unlocked another car now. Uh, and that one was given for getting to professional. Uh, or level 25, 250,000. Right. We're getting 250,000 points, yeah. That's decent, though. Technically, though, if it is like a million for the last one, uh, we are only a quarter of the way through the game, then. Ah, uh, watch it. We technically still have a lot more stuff to earn. But here is another race. Here we go. Waikiki Run. I do remember this one, actually. This name. 2.5 miles for two laps. This is a rookie level, but it is a D restriction. Uh, so this gives us uh, 10,500 credits. Let's go. Test drive unlimited. Right. 
And we're off. The Battle of the Skylines. <laughs> that is how it's done. Awesome. Here we go, we're going across the water. No, we're not. So uh, this is a part of the map that I think you start in um, TDU on the console. You sort of start towards the south anyways, but on Xbox 360 it's more towards the uh, west. And you're sort of right in the middle of the city at the start. Look at these buildings though. They are insane. And all of this still fits on a DVD. This game must be on a dual layer disc. There is no way it's fitting on 4 gigabytes. They must have a dual layer so it's 8 gig. Like Gran Turismo 4. That was on a dual layer. Awesome. Look at that. Oh, oh, careful. There we go, perfect. Hey, we got that corner nailed this time. That's good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Nope. Okay, back on track. That's good. I mean, at least these older games, the music that's in them isn't co copyrighted or like licensed music. Because I know Gran Turismo 4, all the music in it is pretty much copyrighted except the menu music. Um, so I do have, if I do plan on doing Gran Turismo 4, that's got to be muted. Um, which is a shame. I know there's some um, good songs that I like on there, like Go With The Flow from Queens of the Stone Age. That's a classic. There we go, first place against the Skylines. 3 minutes and 1.812. Awesome. Got a load of master points as well. Next race is 3 miles away. Okay, this is starting to get quite far away. These events. Watch it. Stay out of my way. All right, here we go. So we are a mile away from our next destination. Uh, traffic lights. I'm gonna break all rules there and just go straight past. Traffic lights are non-existent in my world. Here we go. We're at Woodlaw. Ooh, fancy. Right, here is the race in question. High slide. I don't think we've done this yet. But I recognize the name. Uh, so this is a no restrictions event, but it is a pro level. 25,000 credits. So what I want to do is we're going to swap to our good old trusty Aston Martin DB9 for this one. I know it does say no restrictions, but... That then gives me a chance, because look, we got a Jaguar. I do remember driving the uh, Jag in this game. The Jaguar, the Ford Mustang, and there's another one. The Chrysler concept car. Those are three cars that I distinctly remember playing. And the other ones are just like vague. 
Oh dear. We spun. We spun. Let's see if we can get those places back then. I've got to get reused to driving the Aston again. Nice. That was good. Alright, relying on Slipstream to get us those points, but also to get us that extra speed. There we go, 390 points. Pretty much free. Awesome. Apart from the spin, this has been an okay first lap. That was the perfect breaking point. And someone has lost it. Two cars have lost it back there. Unbelievable. You would expect the AI to be a little bit more uh, advanced and capable of driving, but uh, apparently not. One minute 40 for the first lap, so we've got two more laps to go. Probably going to be quite long because of the fact that they are professional events. First corner again. Nearly spun out. We are going in way too quick to that corner. There we go. Checkpoint. That's the second one. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Uh oh. Not ideal. Uh, we do have a Jaguar trying to catch up with us, but we are in an Aston Martin. We're not going to let that happen. Though I would like to drive the Jaguar at some point uh, in this playthrough. That would be fun. Corner cut. Ah, oh, that was skills. There's no off-road penalty, so it doesn't matter. Um, again, we're not playing this to be like, oh, super professional. We're playing this to have fun and potentially crash multiple times. Right, we hit the three minute mark and we've only done two laps so far. We've got a bit more distance to go. And we're being overtaken by the Jag. The Jag does not like being behind us. But at least we didn't spin out at that corner this time. Nice. Hong Kong, get out of my way. Awesome. I still don't get though why I prefer this style of game just so much more than uh, TDU on the uh, PS3 and that, the PS3 edition. Because the PS2 edition was awesome. Oh, 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 spun out. Okay, right, we're gonna have to slipstream behind the Jag. We're going for it. We got the win, first place. Look at that time! 447.655 for the both of us. Holy shit! That is crazy. I thought we were miles ahead. We were only slightly ahead. Wow. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Okay. 
Right, we've got a three mile drive to the next race. And I have no idea where that's going to be. But it is probably going to be a professional race. Your destination is three miles away. Your destination is three miles away. Awesome. Now, the fact is this distance, three miles, is sort of my limit that I will drive um, from event to event and record it all. Uh, Any more and I probably wouldn't bother. I'd probably cut it out. Uh, but for now, it's fine staying in. We got ourselves this event, but for some reason, our thing keeps like trying to skip it. Now this is speed. And that was nearly a crash. That is awesome. 11 points there. Nice. The fact in free roam as well, you can level up points as well. You could just do a road trip if you wanted to. You could just free roam and level up your game that way and get free cars. But obviously races are sort of the way you get the stuff you want. Free roam is just how you lose money because the cops are dodgy in this game. You're making me turn like extraordinarily tight corners with traffic. Please don't. Big rips in the chat. Here we go. Shoreline Drive, this event's called. Let's do it. Right, so we have a 3.5 mile race, 2 minutes 11 seconds, and we get 36,000 credits. The money is easily picking up now. So much so, we could be able to afford a new house soon. Um, we'll definitely need to buy ourselves like an 8 car garage. Um, and I feel like I may sell the 4 garage. But I'm not sure if I'll keep it or not. Because we've obviously got a four car garage. Um, and you can get up to ten car garages in this game. Which is another bonus over like TDU2. Because TDU2 the most you could have it was uh, six. They couldn't render in any more than that. In a garage. Oh, not ideal. We are in an upgraded Aston though. So hopefully we should be faster than what it expects the average C vehicle to be. Nice. I think as well we'll be getting like a Ford GT at some point because I never got the Ford GT. So hopefully we can get that. Awesome. We've been here before for the speed trap challenge actually. Uh, I think it was like episode 2, maybe? I don't know. I can't remember too much. I'm just enjoying the game in the moment. But I know for the entire first day, the only car I drove was the Alfa Romeo, so... And I am going to try and avoid using the Alfa Romeo anymore. Um, if I am going to do any E-Class, I'll probably get myself a Mustang and try that out for a bit. Because that would be good. Different cars, mixing it up a bit. Nice. As if the big arrows on the ground going in the opposite direction to your car wasn't a big enough telltale. They have to put red signs saying wrong way at the side of the road. Oh. Well, the AI just uh, didn't want to exist anymore. 2 minutes and 7.4. That was an easy win. 36,000 credits. Look how much money that got us. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Awesome. Okay, so the next event is 4.5 miles away. Let's go and drive there. Right, we are here at the uh, Spaghetti of Junctions. There is uh, 
many multiple different roads that go down this stretch here. And it is ridiculous. There's roads that go across. Why is there two, like a dual carriageway on the side up there and a dual carriageway on the floor? What's the point in that? It makes no sense whatsoever. Right, you're getting out of my way. Move. <laughs> But it's just a map design. It's like, almost like, I'm not sure if this is a real map. I still haven't checked it. I need to remember to check if this is a real map. But the fact that they managed to pull all this off in, what, 2006. You gotta give Eden Games props. It's really surprising that those companies, well, they do exist, but they don't exist in Test Drive anymore. Atari obviously went bust, and Eden Games just split off and made Drive Club, or not Drive Club, Gear Club for mobile. They went to mobile games. I mean, that game is decent, don't get me wrong, but it ain't exactly great. But we are here at the TT time trial. It's probably what the TT stands for, time trial. And this is two miles for 27,000 credits. Let's just do it. We'll do this and then we'll have a look at the map and see what events that actually are for the professional level. Very nice, and off we go. Come on. Nice. Oh, we've gone wide. Not ideal. Perfect. Get some lovely drift points in there. Sixteen points. Lovely. That's all we need. That's made a huge dent in my balance, hasn't it? Sixteen points. Oh. Try and trick me out, are you? Right. Twenty seconds. Awesome. And across the line, easily done it. Gold medal, 124.4. Decent. We're at 300,000 credits as well. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look at the map and see, oh, the next race isn't too far actually, I don't think. No, the next race is right near us. Uh, we'll go do that race. And then we'll have a look and see, because I can see a race championship in the middle of the map just there. So uh, we'll go have a look and see what that is. 0 0.5 miles away this one is. Why are you trying to crash into my car? You know it's expensive. You'll end up paying for it anyways. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm gonna go